Hey guys, it's Clary here from Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to set up Discord SRV. Firstly, you'll have to install the plugin on your server. All you have to do is head to server.pro and open up your VPS. If you have an already existing server, we recommend heading into its configuration tab, but I'll be creating a new service. Here you have to just make sure it's set to Java Edition and that the type is set to Paper or Spigot. I'll be selecting Paper as it's more optimised and improves performance. As for the version, I'll be selecting 1.20.6 as that's the latest version available for the plugin. Once you're happy, create the service and after a while it should generate the necessary files. Now all you have to do to install the plugin is head to the Browse page under Plugins. Here is where you'll be able to type up Discord SRV and then press Install Latest for the plugin to be automatically installed. Afterwards, restart the server for the necessary changes to take effect. Now that the plugin is installed, we'll need to create a Discord bot in order to proceed. Firstly, you need to head over to this page. We'll leave a link in the description. Sign in to your Discord account and press New Application. The name doesn't matter here, so you can name it anything you want. After you've created it, you can change the profile picture or name, but all we want to focus on is heading to the bot page. Scroll down and find the copy button under token. If this is invisible to you, simply press reset token and then you should be able to view copy. After, scroll down and find server members intent and enable it. Then press save changes as this is needed for the bot to work later on. Now we need to link the applications together. Head to your servers, files, plugins, discord SRV, and then config.yml. At the top of the page, you should see a bot token heading, and this is where you want to paste the token we copied from before. Then head to discord. If you don't already have a discord server, you should create one. We will now be adding the bot and creating the necessary channels for it. You will need at least two text channels, which is one for the server console and one for the in-game chat. I have now created those, so we will now be heading to user settings in the bottom left. Scroll down to advanced and turn developer mode on. Then close out of those settings and open up server settings. We'll now be creating a bot role for the server. Head to roles, add a new role and name it bot or whatever you'd like and then head to permissions. Scroll down to the very bottom of the list and enable server admin for this role. When you're done, press save changes. Head to the in-game chat channel you've created and right click it. Then copy channel ID. After copying that, head over to your server.pro dashboard and open up config.yml from before again. Locate the text channels and global and replace the zeros next to it with the channel ID we just copied. Head back to Discord again and copy the channel ID for the console channel as well. Then on the server.pro page, next to the Discord console channel ID, we'll be pasting this ID. Then save the file to make sure the changes take effect. Now head back to the Discord development page which we've left in the description from before. Head to general information and click copy under application ID. Then head to this page which we'll also leave the link for in the description. All you have to do there is right click and paste the application ID we copied earlier. Then we'll be inviting the bot to the correct server and clicking authorize. You'll then see that the bot has joined the server. On the right side of the page where you can see members, find the bot and right click it to give it the bot's role we created. Then head back to the server.pro website and restart your server for the changes to take effect. To double check everything has been configured correctly, you'll want to copy your server hostname and then head into Minecraft. Paste the hostname and join the server and type something. I'll just be typing something random. Now head back to your Discord server and you can see that in the in-game chat, what I said has come up. If this doesn't appear for you, make sure you trace back to the previous steps to ensure everything has been set up correctly. I hope I was able to help you set up your server. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments or contact our support. Thank you so much for watching.